What's up and welcome to an actual stream. It's your friendly friend, Wizard Fu. Making the game Songbringer, as usual. And I'm still working on the arena, the new boss, and all those kinds of things. There's a lot of new enemies in this arena. And uh, today I'm going to be working on the blobby type enemy. Um, this blobby type enemy is going to work differently than the blob boss. The blob boss it was, starts out big and then separates into three smaller things. And you got to kill one of the smaller things to uh, get it to actually die. This one, it kind of uh, is an, like the inverse of that. So um, this blob starts out as four small, like, or whatever, a number of smaller blobs. And you actually have to hurt each one enough to put it into a state where it's ready to combine. So it starts like wiggling or something like that. And then as soon as you get all of the smaller blobs to wiggle, it boom, it transforms into the bigger one. And then you can kill the bigger one and it's done. So there's not really a trick to it. It just kind of works inversely. Um, so now I'm going to set up uh, the waves. So it's kind of like we're shortcutting into just the blob four. So we're just going to start with four blob four smalls. And we're working on AI, getting that going. So let's make sure that we are get this going. I should probably get into a smaller window. Makes it easier to stream with a small window. We've got the big window here. Yeah, so we've got four of these blobs. They can small spawn smaller blobs. But really the point is to get to hurt each one of these enough to put it into a state where it's ready to combine. So let's go window size 840p. Okay, so the blob four. Uh, this, by the way, is my second time streaming from Thailand. I'm actually in a totally different country now. I've left my homeland. Um, big life changes, not to go into anything, but uh, it's less expensive here, and I'm kind of just healing my heart, if you will. Uh, so, yeah. So it's been kind of experimental. I don't know when to stream. I've never streamed from Thailand except for once before. Uh, and internet speeds are wildly variatic, but I'm in a more um, long-term place. I've actually rented this little uh, studio apartment for the next month, so I'll actually have a consistent place to be for a while. So hopefully I can find a nice consistent time to stream at, and I think I streamed about this time last time, I don't know. Also, the internet speeds are kind of totally different here than in the United States. Sometimes I'm having great upload speed, sometimes it's like no internet at all. So anyways, that said, just kind of experimenting here with this sort of new timing for live streams. So, uh, right, so blob four small. The basic concept here is that it needs to take enough damage to put it into a state where it's ready to combine. So the existing, the existing AI had a thing where it went into mode nine. And mode nine was in it when it, ah, mode nine was when it removed. This is where it goes into mode nine. This is, this is where it's combining Okay, here, I think this is where it's, yeah, this is where it starts combining. Count blob four, zero, right, if there's no big blob four. What's up, moth teeth? 
Yeah, do I have any plans to begin a new game anytime soon? Uh, no, it's not going to be very soon that I begin the next game. I've got ideas for the next game. I can't wait until that time. Uh, but there's a lot of work left to do for Songbringer, actually. Even though Songbringer is already out, um, there is the big update coming out, which is almost finished. The new boss is pretty much finished. I'm just kind of like refining it mostly, the, the that new boss fight. Um, there's a little bit of work left to do with one of the new items, the Ring of Difficulty working title. Um, and then anyway, so that major update's got to come out. And then there's also the iOS version, which is like, shoot, I have, I have no idea how long that's going to take because it could be like a really, it, there might be, have to be some significant changes to the game itself to play on a touch screen. So um, that's kind of a variable. And then also there's the soundtrack to get released. So there's three major things, the soundtrack, the, um, the iOS version, and the, the update. So it could be a while before the next game gets started, but I'm really excited for it. I got some ideas kind of like bouncing around in my head, just kind of like letting them marinate for a while because um, I'm, not, I'm just not quite sure on it yet. So, but it is exciting to think about. How are you doing today, Mati? So this is where it starts combining. I wanted to actually start combining if it's hit points are less than five. And we're gonna double all his hit points to start with. So let's start with like 28 hit points there. Yeah, it will be really interesting to see how the heck that turns out. Like, you're good? Good to hear, man. Yeah, with iOS, it's like, the biggest thing is like, you, you can't have six buttons, you know? Like there's no way to have, on a touch screen at least. Uh, of course, there will be, uh, there will be Gamepad controls for the for the iOS um, version, but most people are probably not going to have a gamepad. You know, most people are probably going to play it with the touchscreen. So with the touchscreen, you can have up to five fingers touching at one time. But if one finger is your your D-pad, then you can really only have four fingers. So maximum, you can only have four buttons versus Songbringer's six buttons normally. So that at least is going to have to be scaled back. And I'm thinking maybe. I might have to make it kind of old school and only have two buttons. So you might actually only have an A and B. It depends on kind of how it feels. Like I'm gonna have to really like set up the touch controls and play with them with two buttons, play with it with four buttons really to get a feel for it, you know? Yeah, the code base already builds for iOS. Thankfully, I'm using the engine called Cocos 2DX. And about six months ago, I made sure that it was building correctly for iOS, and it does have its basic touchscreen um, input already written and stuff like that. So it's like everything in Songbringer actually, you know, all the things that you normally would choose, like in the menus, for example, uh, with your with your controller, they already have these little like rectangles. So if you were to use touchscreen or even a mouse, like it does actually have those rectangles all in place. So yeah, it's like, you could say that part is mostly done, but like really it's gonna take a while to dial it all in and make sure all the controls feel good and the game plays well on touchscreen and, and deciding things like, you know, how many buttons to use and if any of the difficulty of the game needs to be modified. Like if you only have four buttons, does that mean that the enemies need to be a little easier? Like, I don't know. So. That's going to be a, the thing. Yeah, so we're going to go into this combine if your hit points are less than 0.5. It goes into mode 1. Mode 1 is when you're, this little blob is trying to combine. So mode 1 of target, it doesn't matter. I guess I guess this could just seek each other. This is where they try and like get closer to each other. Combine two if mode one if count blob four zero, animate recombine forever. 
mode two. Oh, okay, so mode one is when he's trying to seek another blob four. Um, mode two is actually when it's waiting to recombine. So mode two, yeah, we want it to go to mode two, dir none, delay, combine three. If mode two, if count blob four zero, Okay, so here's where it actually does the recombining. We want this to happen if every other one of the blob fours is in mode two. Um, and we also need, whenever we go into combine, we need to set up a shield. So as soon as, as soon as the, as soon as he starts waiting to combine, he needs to have a shield up so you can't kill the blobs and he's, until they all recombine. So we're going to spawn that blob four, but only if all the blobs are waiting. How the heck am I going to chest that? Hmm. What's up, Bigotin? Welcome to the stream. Well, I do know how to make a test for one other, shoot, this is, hmm. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. There's a new thing where all of the AIs, every AI component has its own index. So when the AI gets created, an index gets set, and the AI can test that here in these behavior trees. So I could actually say, like the logic could go something like this. Target AI index zero if AI index zero is in mode two. Target index one if a index if the target is in mode two so you could actually loop through and do all that that way it's, might as well do it that way okay so we need an if target index and a target index no wait if target we already have if mode if target mode i think is what it's now, if mode target, I know you can do this somewhere. Okay, we got to pull up the AI system. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to add a few things to the AI system for sure, like at least setting target index. So let's do that first. So we need to look for behavior target. This is the if section. There it is, behavior target. Oh, this is target area. We don't want to do that. We want to do just target. Here we go. So target, set target to none, set target to rant, set target hero, nearest, set target by name. Oh, here's setting. Maybe, maybe I just did setting in targets mode. Okay, so we're going to do Uh, 
Um, we have target named. Yeah, so this is how you would target a named. All right, so we're going to do if target index or set target index. We're going to use float val. Set target by index. We want to loop over every AI component looking for the right index. So we need to for auto rev it in entity get all AI components. So we're looping over all the AI components is Um, for each id, we want to get the AI. Uh, there's, a, there's a macro for this. Entity get. I always forget the order of the arguments, though. Component class, id, var name. So we're getting the AI component, id var name, AI, otherwise, continue. Okay, now we've got the AI. If AI dot index equals, okay, let's set up this const in index that we're looking for is L round F float val two maybe? Should be float val two. This, we're gonna need to check this. So I'm gonna crack open the Xcode because we're gonna need to set a breakpoint there make sure it is float val two. I think it, we're setting target mode. Yeah, I think this needs to be float valve, float valve two. Come on, get with the program. Come on, Xcode, you got this. Oh, what line is this? Oh, because it's in area. There. Okay, we got a break point. If AI to index equals index, then we set e dot AI dot target equals id, and we return true. Otherwise, we're going to fall out of this loop and return false eventually. So if an AI tries to set a target and it can't, then we will get an assertion failure in debug mode, so we'll know that we've written some crazy code that ain't good. Okay, so let's get that compiling. Now in the blob for small, we need to start using this new little bit of code. We'll do this, target index zero, which could be self, that could be yourself, which is okay though. Okay, so there. So yeah, it's it's gonna basically combine into a blob four. Okay, all we gotta do is run this and make sure that first bit of code we just wrote is working. So if you're just joining the stream, what I'm working on today is um, uh, some, some refined AI for a new type of enemy called the Blob 4, which is kind of like the opposite of the Blob Boss. The Blob Boss it starts out big, you heard it enough, it splits in, into three smaller blobs, 
Um, this one starts off as like a number of smaller blobs. You have to hurt each one of them enough until it can, it's ready to recombine, and then you can kill it once it recombines. So we should just be able to let it run until one of these AI, oh, I have to kill one of them. Okay, there it goes. Flow Val. Oh shoot, I used Flow Val's, <laughs> I used the number zero, so like I have no idea if that was right or not. Damn. Okay, let's do this again. We need to do target index. Let's do target index two. Run again. Oh wait, is that gonna, I'm not sure if that actually, updated the, t the text file. Let's, let's just save it again. I think it did. Let's cheat this time. Whoops, too much cheating. Killed him. I'm sorry, Blobbies. Oh, did I not set a breakpoint? Oh yeah, yeah, good. I thought I didn't run it actually from Mexico. It's full valve one. Okay, I had that wrong. Good thing I checked that. All right, let's get that to full valve one. We might as well leave that AI to run too. But let's do the other part. So the other part of this AI, I'm gonna write it first as an expression and then write the code to, to fulfill that expression. So we're setting target index, whatever. This actually should be target, target index zero. And then if target mode two, right? So then we would do this like four times for all the blobs. So we go target index one, target index two, target index three, target mode two, for all of it, all of them, then we spawn the blob four and go into mode 99. Okay, and then so this bit here, the if target mode, I think is not done yet. So let's write that. So we're looking for behavior target again. If target. So we got, this is the if target tree of behaviors, if target mode category near, has near center directions. Okay, so the, not, this has not been written yet. It's actually gonna be similar to this category one though. So if subtype two is K behavior mode, um, the mode that we're gonna be looking for is, is just a number. So L round, round F, float valve two, I hope. Set a breakpoint for that too. Now, if huh, wait, why is this? I guess we have to get the target. So, or we can just do this. If int, well, no, well, no, it's better for debugging if we do this. If int, we get the target like this. E dot ai target. And then we say, if return target dot 
AI.mode equals load. Okay. Now we've got two breakpoints in place. So we can check both of those. Do we need to set the target mask? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, run this from Xcode. Hit these breakpoints, make sure this is working. And we'll have the first part of this AI, this is probably the most complex part of this AI process, is just writing this additional code to make this happen. The rest should be pretty straightforward. Get them weak. There we go. Okay. All right. The first guy that's being. Let's just make sure this is a blob four. Good. And which index is this that it's running for? Index zero, okay, so it's gonna set a target to itself. Wait, it already did the mode? Did I write that code backwards? What happened? Should have done target index first, did I? Oh, the target index. Breakpoint got messed up there. Okay, let's just assume that that worked. Like, it should have a target EID of, okay, so it does have a target EID of three. That's can't, that can't be right. Okay, something broke, something didn't work there. It was targeting jib. Jib is usually index three. Rocks usually index one. Rocks attack component is in two. So we're looking, this is going to be setting index zero, probably. This is running for index zero, so it's going to be targeting itself. Index zero for all AI components. What's this first to get? Three. Okay. Oh. Jib is also index zero. Okay, we need to make this smarter. Um, it's targeting jib because jib also has this index at zero. So we need to make this statement a little smarter, like more specific. So instead of just target index zero, let's make this target index zero foe. So it has to have a collision category of foe as well when it's setting that target index. So let's go to here, make this smarter. Um, I believe actually we can copy this. So we can say const auto category equals kit parse flags. It should be sturbout too, actually. Words, filters, and then if the index is the index and the grab the collision component or this 
HT. So if index is index and has bits on collision category of category. So there, a little smarter. Making this smarter, instead of, like, I could have gone and said, okay, jib should have index negative one. But that could, that's just a whole can of worms because who knows if you have other kinds of entities later that might have an index zero as well. Later on, your code's gonna break. So we might as well make the code a little better. This is kind of more future proof doing it this way. Catch my drift. Notice I'm, I'm actually sitting down. Normally I stand up to stream and code and and stuff, but I, I don't have a battle station yet. I guess I could create a battle station over there, but that's kind of a cramped little corner. It's kind of nice to just sit down and work though, but I guess I'm kind of being lazy. I guess as long as I'm getting up and moving around, it's all right. Okay. I'm ready to run. Sorry. What? I don't know. All right, so we're looking for index zero, probably category should be some value, which is 64, it's probably foe, right? Stir val two should be foe, yeah, good. Okay, looks like we're looking for the right index category. So the first time we get in here, we're looking at jib. It's gonna be jib. This AI component, this EID is three, AI component should, how can we know that it's jib? Yeah, Jib's targeting rock there. Okay, so that's Jib. So if the index is, is zero, it's gonna be, but it also, Jib's not gonna have category flow. So it skips him, yay. Okay, next AI. What are we looking at here? This is ID 1082, which is possibly this same first, yeah, this is, this is self, so it's gonna be targeting itself is okay should be okay now it should get to its the next breakpoint here it's going to look for okay so we're looking for mode which is float val 2 which is 2 good it's the right value now we're getting that target which is self And then checking if self's AI's mode is two. And it should indeed be. I'm not sure if I got that return value, but oh well. If it's working, then we should be in the same, we should be running for the same AI, 1082. Good. And now we're going to be setting index 
one category foe. That was jib, here's self. Here should be the next blob, which this should be it. Great. So uh, this is confirmed. That little bit of code is now working as expected. All right, now we're going to be seeing if target index one's mode is also two. All right, so this entity should still be 1082. Its target, however, should be 1083 or four. Yeah, 1083. And then just checking if its mode is also two. I forgot to. Oh, I think that worked. Yeah, good. This appears to be working as well. There you go. All right, it works. Yay. Good. Okay, now, um, that was pretty much the hardest part of today's work. Um, let's go to blob four now. Blob four should never recombine back into the small blobs. Let's just turn off all that bits of code so we can, we can die. So initial taunt. We do want to remove any blob four smalls if they're still existing. We don't want to do any of this stuff. This is a, none of this is necessary here. Just want to go like that, like that. Okay, so initial B if mode eighty eight. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, this is if you're. This is if it's um the boss. This might be nice to shake the screen a little bit. Let's we'll see if that's cool. So mode zero of count blob four small. I mean birth spawn two is when we spawn the four, four blobs, three blobs. So here's where we want to get rid of all this. You never want it to turn back into the smaller blobs. This is where it's just like bouncing around, stucking, getting charging, seeking, spawning little blobs, that's okay. Wandering, changing its speed, changing its damage. This should be enough, man. This might already be done. Well, at least the mechanical overall concept should be finished here. Thankfully, this is the last enemy in this arena to make, to get really refined. Um, last night I did the, uh, I didn't film this, but I did the Viper um, Fire Vipers. I made it so they're individual, so like, they both spawn, but only one of them starts attacking at first, so it's like, they don't really like, get their fire trails all crossed. It gets all confusing when it used to get really, it was a really confusing fight with two fire vipers, both of them kind of like on top of each other the whole time and their trails crossing and stuff like that. So those, they're a little, they're a lot more individual now. It's a much funner phase of this wave fight. Okay, so there, we got one of them waiting. Let's turn on and see what AI, what the AI is doing. Oh no, you got out of it. <laughs> okay. There's obviously a way they can get out of it. It's not cool. Oh, it worked. It kind of worked a little too fast though, it seemed. Okay, so let's look for any possible ways that it could get out of its ready to combine mode. Oh, and here's how we can, so this will be, we have mode three. Nope, good. Let's go mode three. Sequence combined four. 
if mode three will need a delay. So delay one, two, Okay, if it's sitting there waiting in its combined mode, how could it, oh, maybe if it's, maybe some of this other code here is not running, or is running, even depending on, we don't need this, oh, we're, we don't need that, uh, this should be first. This is the initial sequence. And that's not necessary. Let's comment that out. What's this timer? Oh, the timer was, oh yeah. We don't need that either. Yes, totally. Thank you, Bilal. Good suggestion. Yeah, that's in, it's funny you mentioned that right then because um, that's that's where I'm actually looking at right here. This is where they're actually supposed to get they're, they're supposed to like bounce their way closer and closer together, which would really help, you know, the, at least get it started so they're closer together, and then an animation could somehow like put them together. Oh, the reason it wasn't seeking at all? Okay, I got this. Is because it didn't test that the target was near enough. Okay, now we need to make sure also that all of these have if mode zero, even something like this. If mode zero, if mode zero, mode three, if mode two, it looks like we're okay. Let's see if that, see if that makes it better. So now they should um, like, bounce their way closer to each other. Combine two, it's not bouncing closer though. It should be invincible basically. I wonder if any of these other guys will combine or bounce closer. Combine C, combine C, combine C. Oh, he's trying. The other guy did, the first one did combine.
maybe we'll take away this make the combine seek after that one combine seek stuck if mode one um, if stuck dir smart delay like one to two seconds and then goes sequence combine seek mode one Retronator, what's up, man? How's it going? I haven't seen you since um, the mix in San Francisco. Nice, man. Cool. You're releasing a video this week? Favorite games of 2017? Cool. Hey, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for saying hi. Hello right back at you, man. Hope you're doing well. Right, so if stuck, dir smart, delay. We'll see how that plays out. You doing great? Nice. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Combine two. He didn't. He's not combined seeking. That's what the other guy did too last time. He combined two. It's, it's like it's like he doesn't. Okay, I gotta remember that. It gets into combined two. Shoot, that should be called called combined B. So I know if it's combined two or if it's ran combined twice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. That guy did. This guy got closer. Oh, maybe he went into that because he, he was actually close enough. Okay. I think that's what it is. So this needs to be a little closer, right? If the target is like maybe 25. Let's do that. All right, and all these combines, this should be combine A. Combine B. Combine C. D. That should be better. Let's run it one more time. So yeah, some artwork after will we probably come after this. I'm I'm just not sure if I'm gonna have time to do this on on the stream. Um, gonna have to get some dinner here pretty soon. But yeah, what'll come after this? Now, this is kind of like my process. I always like to get an AI's an AI feeling good first, like playing well, feeling good, the gameplay of the AI feeling just right. You know, it's fun, make sure it's fun. And then later on, do the artwork and make the artwork just like that extra little bit that makes it pop. 
Oh, there we go. They both kind of got near each other. So let's make sure this guy sits far apart. There. It's weird. I don't know how their animations get all weird like that. Why does his animation lock in like that? Oh, oh, he targeted... So there's one little problem. All these little blobs are kind of confusing the AI, so they're not really, like, recombining right. running that speed behavior a lot, like way too much. Hmm. It looks like the, um, they need to have a little bit smaller hitboxes so they can get closer together. Okay, so let's make him not spawn any little blobs. The big blob can spawn little blobs. Let's turn off this AI tree. Now, why, why is there, why do they look all funny? Like it should be. Also, they need to be a little smaller. What is making them animate some, they get stuck in their an, animation wherever it was, like I've seen them flat and not flat. There's only one place where it does this. Okay, I guess. I don't know, let's try just animating idle. Or run. Either one. Okay, so without the little blobs, it should be a lot less confusing for it to recombine. Also, with the collision boxes a little smaller, it should be able to more easily get together better. Let's see how this plays. Oh, uh, like one another thing I was thinking about the art is he should definitely look a little different. These, you know, these guys look exactly like the purple blobs from the blob, the blob boss, so they should at least be a different color. I'm trying to keep them separate. So watch them try and recombine. Ah. Oh yeah, the speed animation. There we go, yeah, that guy seeked. He got close and then he just stopped because it was close enough at that time. Everybody else was already still moving. There, that guy that guy got into combined B though without I don't know why. Oh, he was also close. got to be a smarter way for them to recombine like I, I could use some some of that new AI code to actually make it so um, it only targets a blob AI um, by index or whatever yeah cool this guy's all weird now. 
It's got weird animation. And also definitely a weird size. So this seek needs a little bit of a delay. Blob four. He was seeking. Oh, because he's probably running his ant his taunt. Oh, and his collision box needs to be smaller. Okay, so I don't have too much time left on the stream, but let's see if we can get it so that it, it when it's trying to seek somebody to combine with, it seeks a little more little smarter here. Like it could go... Like this. Succeed. Target. Index. Zero. Flow. Not if target mode two. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Just repeat that four times. So now we're going to go target index one foe, not of target mode two, target index two foe, not of target mode, target index three foe. There. And this is a succeed behavior tree, which just means that it runs, it always succeeds. And that means that if it fails, like here it's going to fail on one of these, like not if it, if, so if it sets target mode Z, or the, sets the first index as its target, and that index is already in mode two, then this, this tree is gonna fail, right? Or it's gonna break. You can consider it as more like breaking out of that tree. And then it's gonna succeed anyway. So it's gonna succeed and then go on to dir target and delay 0.4. So this should work, right? Target index zero, target index one, two, three. That should work. That should make it so it smartly seeks um, only another blob Oh, shit. wait. We also need this, if target any. Because if it fails, like if it's the first guy to start combining, it might not have a successful target. I guess it should also go target none right here. Let's try and keep them separated. Separated. Uh, 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 uh. Clumping together. Oh, okay, cool. He's combined seeking. He's like, oh, he doesn't know where to go though because he just settled. He's like, all right, I'm just gonna stay here. So let's get one of them to start. There we go. Oh no, this guy got into combined B and he... Shoot, how did he get into speed mode? He did combine B and then speed. What? How could that have happened? Combine B. Oh. Okay, I get it, I get it. So we need to do one more thing. As soon as we start combining, we need to target none. Did 
This combined B needs to be of target any. This needs to come afterwards. Um, so we need one more thing. Combine, seek, solo. So if you're the only one, if mode one, if target none, This also needs to be a succeed. Combine solo of targets. If you so if you did all this, and you didn't succeed, you still have target none. Ah, actually, this needs to be this needs to be embedded in this. So if you if we get to here, then this guy's solo. So he needs to animate, recombine forever, and go into mode two. Set dir none. Should already have dir none. Oh, target none should be up here, down here. Okay, I think that's correct. Oh, all right, last time running it. Gotta take a break, gotta get some dinner. So yeah, after um, I'm gonna take a break after this, get some dinner. After that, I'm gonna come back and make this these blobs have a unique art. So they'll be just be a different color, basically. Cool, that guy went into sitting there mode because he's the only one. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to add an animation for them recombining. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it'd be nice to give them a teleport in animation as well, so they look really cool. Also, it'd be nice to have them teleport to specific positions, so it kind of looks like really structured and nice when this wave starts. But other than that, this AI is almost finished. This is kind of cool. It's just basically like an inverse of the blob boss. Little boss, little blobs combine back into a big one, and then that's how that's how they become weak or vulnerable, I guess. So this guy should be invulnerable; shouldn't be able to hurt him at all. Are these combined seeking? Cool. We got stuck. Let's combine seeking again. Got stuck. Seek again. 
He's looking for his friend. Oh, dude, you got you were there. Oh, they're all they're all seeking. I don't know why, but they're. How did they all get into seek mode? I don't know. Obviously, there's a few things left to do here with this. Maybe it probably has to do with the code I just wrote there. Um, yeah, but I'll get this all fixed up, and I'll work on the art tonight, and this will be a. Um, and then yeah, and then I'll and then I'll upload it to Steam so that this can be played on the beta, and pretty much the whole arena fight will be finished after this this particular AI is complete. So that's it for this stream. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate you all, and um, we'll catch you guys on the next stream or the next video. See you later.